Huskers held their sixth spring practice. I am Katie Falco here with Chris Schmidt from Huskers Illustrated. And Chris, we're kind of at that halfway point. How do you think the new coaches and the players are doing with the installing of the new offense? Do you think they're becoming comfortable with it at this point? You know what, Coach Beck today talked to the media, Katie, and yeah, I think Nebraska's getting much more comfortable. Uh, they're probably close to about 80%, Coach Beck said, and, and that's all right. Today, not a great day for practice for Nebraska. They were sluggish. They're they're tired at times is, is kind of the gist of it and uh, they're making mistakes not only dropping some footballs but fumbling and some penalties today and not a great day for Taylor Martinez again from offensive coordinator coach Beck but you know what they'll move forward and uh, they look forward to tomorrow but overall yeah the installation's gone well the team playing extremely fast looking at the positions of players you're talking about players going from one position to the other and spring's kind of the time to you know test that out and Tell me about those and some of those players who are, you know, being seen at other positions. Jamal Turner actually came to Nebraska early, could be getting ready for senior prom, the standout out of Texas. And Jamal, just a dynamic playmaker, about 6'1". He is getting a look at wide receiver. And at this point, he's got so much to sort through in his first semester of college. So, yeah, uh, the wide receiver position move for him uh, is something that, is going to take some time to get used to, but once he does get it down, once he gets the offense down, the guy is electrifying, to quote Coach Beck. Uh, Kerensky Gillian, a wide out from Leander, Texas, going to be a senior next fall for Nebraska, and the, the waiting game has continued on for Kerensky. When's he going to make things happen at wide receiver? Well, even last fall, they talked about maybe moving Kerensky to tailback. They did that Tuesday. So Kerensky, a big, thick, physical guy, according to Coach Brown, uh, we'll get a look at uh, that running back rotation. And do you think with the new offense, obviously every spring they look at players at other positions, but do you think with this new offense, the simplifying, you know, giving the players more freedom, that that comes with new positions? When you look at Kyler Reed, you know, they're kind of looking at him, you know, doing a little more receiving. Do you think that all comes with this new offense? Yeah, when it comes to moving fast and playing fast, getting snaps, guys like Kyler Reed, they'll, they'll be ready. Uh, he's a go-to guy at receiver over the middle, the deep threat for, for Taylor Martinez. So he'll be ready, but they're all on the same level, honestly, Katie, when it comes to learning this offense. It's, it's new to everyone. And some of the big news this week is Jared Crick is injured. You know, what's the update on him? Well, Jared, uh, not going to see any more time this spring, according to Coach Polini. He'll be ready to go this fall, a sprained MCL. Uh, to his knee, and you can't lose big number 94 at that defensive tackle spot. Uh, one of the preseason, uh, will be a preseason All-American, if not uh, defensive player of the year, even in the Big Ten candidate. So Crick, the heart and soul of that defensive line. He's done it for years, the pride of Cozad, Nebraska. So get him rested, get him rehabbed, and uh, move on towards the spring, or and move on towards the fall. All right, well, thank you, Chris, for being with us. And for Time Warner Cable's Nebraska On Demand, I'm Katie Falco.